Hey everyone, so today we're launching the official command line interface for Resin.io. This is quite a big deal for us because it makes all of Resin neatly accessible from the terminal in a far better experience. So one of the most common and often most laborious tasks in a Resin workflow is provisioning a new device into an application. So usually this would require downloading an image from the dashboard and depending on your operating system running a series of commands to find the correct drive and make sure it's formatted correctly and then burn the image. And with the CLI you can do this in one command. Uh, so without any more hype, let's, let's jump into it. So to install the CLI, you'll need Node and NPM installed on your machine. Then you'll run NPM Resin CLI with the global flag. Next you'll need to log in, and as you'd expect, you'll just run Resin Login. It'll present you with a few different options, and I find that if you're already logged into Resin via the browser, the web authorization is the easiest. Now we'd like to create an app and provision a device. And as I mentioned before, you can do this with one command by running the resin quick start wizard. So we'll run resin quick start. It'll prompt you with a selection of existing applications or as we'd like in our case, with an option of creating a new application. Let's call it Woo CLI. You'll then select a device and in our case, it'll be a Raspberry Pi 2. It'll then download the operating system for that specified image. And the, the cool thing here is that once you download an image, it'll cache it on your machine and only invalidate that cache when Resin releases an update for that image, which saves you a lot of time and a lot of data. Once the image is downloaded, it'll initialize a device with the Resin API. It'll then prompt you for your network configuration and I've got a Wi-Fi dongle handy, so I'll select Wi-Fi. You'll just put in your network name and the password. It'll then um, request admin privileges as we need to access and write to the drives on your machine. So you just put in your computer's password. It'll then check for removable drives on your system. And it can't find any because I haven't plugged in my SD card yet. Now that I've plugged in the card, the drive is detected. And you'll need to select it and then confirm that you'd like to write to it. It'll now write to the card and that can take a minute, so I'll skip ahead. And once the write is complete, your SD card is safely ejected and all that's left to do is plug it into your device and power it up. And a few moments later, your device will be connected to the Resin app, ready to receive some code. As you can see, we've removed a lot of complexities from the workflow and added uniformity. So it's a simple process, no matter what operating system you're running. But this is just a taste of what the CLI could do. There's a lot more functionality you can find in the documentation and even a plugin system so you can customize it to meet your own needs. I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun with your new toy. Cheers.